Hi, this is Sandeep Jali and Manos Berlakis presenting case 265 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of a coronary sinus fistula created during CTO PCI. The patient was a gentleman who presented with angina despite medical therapy and was found to have a right coronary artery CTO and inferior ischemia. He was referred for PCI of the right coronary artery CTO, which had a blunt proximal cap, was relatively long length with a distal vessel at the bifurcation of the distal RCA and a large acute marginal branch that was filling through small collaterals, mainly epicardial from the left. This is the coronary CT angiogram showing the blunt proximal cap. There is some calcification but not much within the occluded segment. This is a long occlusion and the distal cap is at the bifurcation of the distal RCA and to an acute marginal branch. So based on this information, we decided to try first with undergrade wiring. If that didn't work, try retrograde through septal so that there were no great septal connections. And if that didn't work, use ADR to re-enter distally with a caveat of the bifurcation of the distal cap. So we used a turnpike microcatheter along with several guide wires, starting with a soft polymer jacketed tapered wire, the filter XTA. And then uh, we tried a Gaia wire that did not progress. However, a Mongo wire did advance further distally. But a contralateral injection did show that the wire was actually into the extra plug space. So what to do, we decided to switch to the retrograde approach. We tried to surf several of the septal connections using various wires, through a three filter XTR, C on black. But unfortunately, we were unable to cross through the septals. We cut close, but there was never a, a crossing into the posterior descending artery. So after the retrograde failed, we decided to go to the third plan, which was to try undergrade the sexual entry. To do that, we inserted an undergrade guide extension to minimize the formation of hematoma that was advanced using inswarming technique with a small 2.0 millimeter balloon. And then we deliver a stingray balloon in the distal right coronary artery. We try to puncture with a guy on X3 and then switch for a pilot 200 or a Mongo. However, despite multiple attempts, the wires seem to not enter into the vessel. This is a contralateral ejection, showing compression of the distal true lumen, but no success for the entry distally. So in the end, after multiple attempts, we decided to use a STAR as an investment procedure. So we took a filter XT guide wire and advanced it distally, trying to restore some undergrade flow, and then ballooned it with a 1.5 and 2.0 millimeter balloon. And sure enough, there was some undergrade flow, still some dissection on the PDA. However, now we have this early feeling of the coronary sinus, which was, of course, a source of alert. Did we have a perforation? Did we need to use a cover stent or a coil? And what seems to be happening is that there is a connection created between a branch of the right posterior lateral with a coronary sinus, likely from deep advancement of the knuckle to fill the XT wire. So we observed the patient for several minutes in the cath lab. We also obtained a transthoracic echocardiogram and there was no effusion and the patient remained asymptomatic. So we decided to not do anything more. We observed the patient for a day and there was no effusion and the patient had no symptoms and was discharged home the following day. So the lessons from this case is that, number one, when you have a hematoma forming distally and a diffusely diseased distal vessel, re-entry can be challenging. In cases like this, investment procedure and the STAR specifically can be useful. However, one should be careful with advancement of the wire because if the wire goes to distal, distal vessel perforation can happen. In this particular case, there was a connection between the distal posterior lateral with the coronary sinus, but there was no effusion. The patient was stable and this was managed conservatively. Thank you.